time. The Honourable Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to move a motion without notice congratulating New Zealand's Winter Olympians. Is there any objection to that process? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Grant Robertson. I wish to make a ministerial statement to congratulate the 2018 New Zealand Winter Olympic yeah, team. Just to make it clear, there was objection from David Seymour to that process. Yeah. All right, Mr. Go Speaker, yes. Mr Speaker, um, as the Minister of Sport and Recreation, it is my pleasure to congratulate Zoe sadowski Sinnott and Nico Porteous on winning the bronze medals at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. It was an honour to represent the government at these Games. Annalise Koberger won New Zealand's first ever Winter Olympic medal in ski slalom at the 1992 Winter Olympics. After waiting 26 years to build on that amazing achievement, these two talented young New Zealanders became the youngest New Zealand Olympic medalists across both summer and winter games. They were part of our biggest ever Winter Olympic team, one which doubled its medal target and also achieved a further four top five finishes. Collectively, collectively, these results reinforce the strength and depth of our snow sports high performance system. The government is proud to invest in this through, the, through High Performance Sport New Zealand and through Sport New Zealand's investment in high performance training facilities. In the lead up to the Winter Olympics, this included the installation of a landing bag at, at Cadrona to enable our international freestyle athletes to trial and perfect their amazing tricks. Both Nico and Zoe specifically told me how much this had helped them hone their performances. New Zealanders can be extremely proud of Zoe, Nico and the whole New Zealand team. Not only were their performances exceptional, but their humility and gratitude for all the support that they had received were made clear at every opportunity. As a team, they backed one another at every point, and I want to congratulate Chef de Mission Pete Wardell and all of the New Zealand Olympic Committee crew for their role in making success happen. Mr Speaker, I also want to make a special mention of the Wells family, who have been the backbone of snow sports and freestyle skiing in New Zealand for many years. The family have had to endure their share of heartbreaking injuries over the years, and sadly this happened again this year for Jossie and Byron Wells. But the Wells family were there to support all the other team members throughout, and I know that they will continue to be a big part of our teams in future years. Mr Speaker, I'd also like to take this opportunity to mention our three strong New Zealand team for the Paralympic Winter Games, taking place this month between 9, 9th and 18 March, and wish Adam Hall, Cal Murphy and Corey Peters all the very best of luck. Kiwis achieving excellence on the world stage is a source of national identity, pride and inspiration. This year's Winter Olympics teams have achieved an exceptional result, and we congratulate them wholeheartedly. Mr Speaker. The uh, Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, I'm 